Do you know your articles in French? Well, in today's video, we'll be looking at three different kinds of articles. Okay, to start with, I'm going to ask you to look at three sentences. What is the difference between these three sentences? Have a look at that. Je veux un gâteau. Je veux le gâteau. Je veux du gâteau. So the difference is indeed the articles. Three articles, three little words that all serve a very different function. Let's have a look at the first sentence. Je veux un gâteau. Un is called an indefinite article or article indéfini. It refers to an unspecific noun, a something. Un gâteau, a cake. This would be the English equivalent of a. But like everything in French, we need to consider the gender of the noun we are using. So we have. Two ways of saying a. Un for masculine nouns such as un chien, a dog, un sac, a bag, and we've got une for feminine nouns such as une bouteille, a bottle, or une balle, a ball. And when it comes to plural in its indefinite article, we say des, des whether the word is masculine or feminine, such as des chats, translated as cats or some cats, des bouteilles, some bottles or bottles. So this article, un, une, des, is called an indefinite article or article indéfini. Let's have a look at the second sentence. Je veux le Gâteau. Le is called a definite article or article défini. It refers to something specific. The equivalent in English is the. For better understanding, let's add de ma soeur to the sentence, a possession. For example, je veux le gâteau de ma soeur. I want the cake of my sister, or I want my sister's cake, okay? So, the cake. Here, we are being specific. It's not any cake. It's my sister's cake. But, like everything in French, and as I said earlier, we need to consider the gender of the noun we are using. So, for the definite article, we have four ways of saying the in French. I know, right. Le for masculine nouns, such as le chien ou le stylo, so the dog, the pen. La for feminine nouns, such as la tasse, the cup, ou la jupe, the skirt, for example. We have l apostrophe for nouns starting with a vowel and nouns started with a silent h. Do bear in mind, though, that L apostrophe is used the same with either feminine or masculine nouns, such as l'université, as a U at the beginning, so we need to drop the A here, L apostrophe, or l'hôpital, the hospital, because it has a silent H. However, l'université has a gender. It is la. Hôpital has a gender. It is Le, but because they start with a U and an H, we have to drop the E or the A and add an apostrophe. And the fourth way of saying the is les. Les is used in the plural form, whether they are masculine or feminine nouns, such as les chiens, the dogs, les tasses, the cups. Now, let's look at the last sentence and arguably the most difficult. Je veux du gâteau. Du is called a partitive article, or article partitif. Du refers to an unknown quantity, usually food or liquid or basically anything that you can't count. 
The equivalent in English is some. Now, by saying je veux du gâteau, you are saying that you want some cake, some of it. Again, as I said earlier, we need to consider the gender of the noun we are using. So we say du for masculine nouns. And it's pretty much a contraction of de and le. Okay, so we never say de le. Je veux de le gâteau. You don't say that. You say je veux du gâteau. For example, du pain, some bread. Du beurre, some butter. So some, some quantity of bread or some quantity of butter. Now for feminine nouns, we would say de la. There is no contraction here, unlike the masculine noun. So we say de la farine, some flour. De la confiture, some jam. And to finish, de, d-e-s, is the partitive of de lait, except that this is contracted because we can't say de lait. For example, des cornichons, some pickles, des pâtes, some pasta. One thing you need to watch out for is that while you can omit some in English, such as I want some cake or I want cake, you cannot do it in French. So you must have an article no matter what in front of the noun. Basically, you have to have an article or your sentence will lose its meaning. Okay, so we have seen three types of articles in French. Des articles définis, definite article, which is your le and la and les. Les articles indéfinis, indéfinis indefinite article, which is your un and une and des, and les articles partitifs, which is the de, de la, du and des. Remember, there is a support guide available with this lesson and you can get it if you join my membership uh, by clicking on the join button below. And why don't you join us during our exclusive live lessons too? And more on articles here. That's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous, bisous, salut.